Sucede cada año, entre los meses de agosto a noviembre. Llegan las lluvias tropicales a Asia, a Filipinas. Cae el agua con gran intensidad en periodos muy cortos de tiempo. En ciudades como Manila, los ríos se desbordan, incapaces de canalizar el agua. Hace tiempo que dejaron de tener vida acuática, ahogados por la basura que se arroja sin control y por la importante contaminación de sus aguas. Alrededor del 70% de la contaminación está causada por las aguas residuales domésticas que se vierten a los ríos sin tratar. Los asentamientos informales no tienen servicios de saneamiento y todos sus desechos, sólidos y líquidos, van a parar directamente a los ríos. Contaminan también las industrias, que vierten sus desechos, entre ellos metales pesados y productos químicos de muy difícil degradación. Se producen inundaciones en muchas partes de la ciudad y con el agua va toda la contaminación y vertidos que entran en las casas, que anega campos y calles. Según el Programa de Naciones Unidas para el Desarrollo, el 58% del agua subterránea está contaminada y necesita tratamiento. Solo el 7% de la población tiene acceso a servicios de alcantarillado. En el año 2008, 20 millones de personas carecían de acceso a saneamiento. En este entorno, un proyecto capaz de devolver la vida a los ríos, de producir riqueza con los desechos vertidos, de dar trabajo y alojamiento a una población que vive en chabolas, parece más que un sueño, un proyecto imposible de realizar. Pero no lo es. We can uh, make an environmental project like the Las Piñas Zapote River successful and sustainable, and it can also help reduce poverty in the Philippines. Las Piñas, en el sur de la ciudad de Manila, con una población de 300.000 habitantes, tiene dos ríos principales, Las Piñas y Zapote, fuentes de agua limpia y de vida acuática desde hace años. Lo recuerdan muy bien los más mayores al hablar de cómo disfrutaban de aquellas aguas limpias, de la vida que había en ellas. I fell in love with the place. And I decided to take my residence near the river because the river is clean and refreshing to see every day and I'm a witness to the fishermen happily happily going around through the river maganda nga ano ng ilog do sa amin napukunan namin ng mga may ulam at naun kami naliligo ginawa ko yang Paligoan namin, mga ambarkada, diyan kami naliligo dahil noon walang playground. Ang aliwa namin, ilog. Wala pang playground noon eh. Kaya diyan kami palagi sa ilog. Diyan kami lumaki. El rápido desarrollo urbanístico y la industrialización han provocado la contaminación del agua de todo el área de Manila. After some time, I looked The river is some kind of getting dirty. The houses that I can see there, wherein they are the informal settlers, maybe one of the factors. Hindi na namin tuloy, magamit ang mga ilog, hindi na kami mga pangisda, hindi na kami makakuha ng mga shell na pwedeng pangkaulam, kasi nga marumi na. Ngayon, esta era la situación en Las Piñas hasta que la elección democrática de una senadora provocó un importante giro en lo que parecía una carrera imparable de degradación medioambiental. I was elected congresswoman in 2001 and later one of the complaints of my constituent is about the flooding due to the overflowing of water in the river. 
So they asked me to dredge the river so it will not overflow. And so uh, I, I went to the river to s when I'm about to start dredging. And I saw that the river is full of waste. And that's when I decided to do uh, the Las Piñas Zapote River Rehabilitation Program. When I did the project, it was for the environment and as well as for uh, uh, po fighting poverty, but it solved health problems as well. Uh, first, uh, we bought equipment to do the dredging uh, and other equipments to help, like barges, motorboats, and, uh, and trucks. And we did this every year, slowly. So by this time, we have 10 uh, Baco equipments with other equipments uh, stationed in different parts of the river. Uh, we constructed strainers in different points of the river. That's uh, garbage intercept. La misma basura que contamina el río se convierte en materia prima a su paso por las piñas. A lo largo del río se han creado empresas que utilizan los desechos para la fabricación de una gran variedad de productos. This is our final product a beautiful sculpture from our waste plastic recycling factory. Who can imagine that this plastic bottle and this plastic bag can be as beautiful as this? This plastic and this bottle tends to float on the river. We pick it up, we collect it, and convert it into school chairs. What we have here are garbage. Kitchen waste, leftover foods, yak. We collect this every morning from different households in our community. What's this? Garden waste. We mix it with cocoa peat to absorb the moisture. And what we have is, a, is an excellent organic fertilizer. In Las Piñas, we have 37 facilities with 60 rotary composters providing jobs to 120 families and producing 35 tons of organic fertilizers monthly. And this fertilizer, we give it for free to the farmers. ko na hindi na itinatapon po sa ilog, kinukuha po ng mga, mama, ng mga tao na, na ginagawa po namin na coconut dahil dito po sa buko, dito ko po sila napag-aral ang aking mga apo at, kami, at napapakain ko po sila sa tatlong beses sa isang araw. Noong araw, namumulot lang po kami ng basura at mula noon, naingganyo niyo po ako ng kapatid ko rito magtatrabaho. At napaaral ko po ang mga anak, limang anak ko po. At maayos na po yung buhay namin ngayon. This is our final product, coconut from our waste coconut husk from our Las Piñas Coconut Factory. This is used to prevent soil erosion. As of today, we have five decorticating machines processing 40,000 husk a day and helping 200 families. We have more than 500 families benefiting from these uh, livelihood projects out of waste. Uh, they're happy because uh, our city in Metro Manila, which is not flooding, and at the same time, I have given livelihood to more than 500 families. Dati sa tibing ilog kami nakatira, natatakot kami na kami 
bawahin o kaya mabagsak yung bahay namin sa ilog. Ngayon nagkaroon kami ng bahay dito sa dito sa Sunshineville. May bahay bahay at lupa na kami. Kampante ng loob namin na nakatira dito. Ngayon mayroong Billiard Foundation nagtrabaho ako para makatulong ako sa asawa ko at, at ang apat kong anak na nag-aaral. Los lirios de agua, un problema para los ecosistemas fluviales, se han convertido en otra original materia prima en este proyecto. La retirada de los lirios de agua ha permitido devolver oxígeno a los ríos a la vez que se crea empleo. Dati po, sabay lang po ako, walang trabaho. Ngayon po, nagtatrabaho na po ako sa Water Lily. Hindi po ako nangangamba na nagtrabaho ko dito dahil nakakasama ko po ang aking anak. Nakakatulong na po ako sa aking asawa. These are the other products of our Las Piñas Arts and Crafts. This came from cleaning our river system. Slippers. Fans and baskets like this. This came from the stalks of water hyacinth. This massage oil came from planting citronella grass along our riverbanks. This lantern, the skeleton of this came from the bamboos we planted along our riverbanks. These charcoal briquettes came from our waste coconut pit. And this, this beautiful notebook, the paper of this is handmade from the leaves of our water hyacinth. Thanks to this enterprise, we are now helping more than 200 families to have better lives. Las empresas creadas tienen tras de sí la visión y gestión empresarial de reconocidos personajes como Manny Villar, político y empresario de Filipinas, que trabaja con el objetivo de que éstas sean sostenibles y rentables. The, the enterprise is growing and more and more people are employed and more and more cities are, uh, are, um, are following. Even if you are a poor country, you can be uh, uh, environment friendly. You can do a lot in uh, improving your environment. You can be resourceful. Just take a look at what you have, apply the appropriate managerial techniques, and gather the technologies that are normally available around you in your country and, and uh, outside your country. And you'd be surprised as to how far you can go and how many people you can employ in the process. Tras el realojamiento de la población, se han plantado bambús, manglares y otras especies endémicas con el fin de controlar la erosión del suelo. En agosto de 2010, las riberas contaban con 10.000 bambús plantados a lo largo de 20 kilómetros. Plantaciones en las que se involucra a los propios estudiantes locales como parte de su formación medioambiental. Frente a otras iniciativas medioambientales que no terminan de consolidarse en Manila, la implicación de la comunidad y de los representantes gubernamentales de la zona ha dado al proyecto una proyección de futuro que rara vez se había conseguido en el área de Manila. Papers, cartons, and different things. Thank you. Cerca de 10.000 residentes de todas las edades han recibido formación en temas relacionados con la gestión de residuos ecológicos sólidos. Todos ellos sueñan con que un día los ríos de Manila vuelvan a la vida, con poder disfrutar de ellos. What a beautiful day. Wow, the, the rivers are clean, the fish are swimming, the birds are all over. Oh, what a beautiful world we have. That's the, the world I want to live in. I like to have a river like there are some fishes and very clean. Don't even it has a it has a clean water so that we can see it truly under the sea, other under the river, and some fish so that we can use for our job. Se ha formado a más de 3.000 voluntarios que vigilan las áreas que bordean los ríos. Any project without education, we don't feel that the project can succeed on a long-term basis because we need the support of the community. Uh, 
uh, with regards to the garbage and everything. If the community is not aware uh, of what we're doing here, if they're not aware of the issues involving uh, waste segregation, then most likely the project will not succeed. And that's why uh, we make it a point to conduct regular seminars so that the community becomes more involved in uh, preserving our environment. El programa de rehabilitación de los ríos Las Piñas y Zapote comienza ahora a replicarse en otras zonas de Filipinas como proyecto modelo que reduce la pobreza, a la vez que devuelve la vida a los ríos. We need partners to network and collaborate and put into action what we have advocated. And the Villar Foundation with Senator Cynthia Villar is the perfect partner. It's the solution to the problems, to the economic problems. It not only uh, solves the environmental problems, but as the social as well, the political, and the uh, uh, educational, cultural. It encompasses everything. That's why we're really very, very happy with what they are doing. Again, my dreams continued to boost, realize, because I can see our river now becoming cleaner and cleaner.